for a quick overview on Terrigium enabling validation in NFP automation frameworks. As we know today, carriers are looking to NFP to deliver more agile and flexible ways of enabling network services using standard off-the-shelf hardware and virtual functions from a number of vendors. Key to success is validation. Terrigium provides performance validation in a number of areas from inside the network service right out to the subscriber quality experience on the edge of the network. As part of a NFP validation methodology, Terrigium provides insight into KPIs of performance measurements on onboard orchestration resource management right out to service deployment or in other words, how to be in a, is operation in a live network. The demonstration and solution is made up of a number of components. So the management and network orchestration entity, or MANO, is using OpenVIM from the open source MANO project and SuperCloud, an NFPO VNS management entity. The MANO supplies a number of VMs or DNS, one being the Terra VM, which is used for validation of layer 4 7, yeah. and in this instance, it's such or a VNS under test. So let's have a look at the tools and how they implement the validation. So the first tool that we look at is SuperCloud as part of the solution. SuperCloud provides the NFPO on VNSM. SuperCloud provides an easy-to-use web interface that allows the user to onboard VMs, create a topology, and orchestrate that into the virtual infrastructure management. To begin, the first thing is the onboarding process. So SuperCloud provides an easy-to-use import button that allows the user to quickly browse to a VNet package and a VNet package consists of the virtual machine image to be deployed and the, inst the instructions around that in terms of resource management. So the TerraVM directive here, for example, has a number of uh, metadata associated with including a version number. It also highlights in terms of a VDU which is the deployment or the deployment unit or the resources required for this VM. So again, what memory, what CPUs should be allocated. Once the VNet package is onboarded, it can then be used as part of a service template or an information model to enable in this service. Again, the key thing about the SuperCloud is this ability to drag and drop your VMs as needed. For example, we can instantiate a controller. We can have multiple controllers from different versions. So, for example, I can add a Serbian controller or DNS. And then, once we have assigned that to our network service topology, we can simply use the drag and drop icon to create the network between us. Once we have the topology in place, we can create or push the instruction set through to our VIM by clicking the instance button. So, enabling in a user to quickly create a test set. So, once the deployment has been orchestrated, the, the SuperCloud provides visibility that everything is good by highlighting green. So, now that our environment is up and running, we can now look at validating the VNS on the test here. So, today, Terrigium provides a nice uh, front end, HTML5, and in adopting the, the spirit of NFP, we have provided a very easy to consume uh, methodology in that all our test cases are pre populated. So the automation framework for a user doesn't have to go and actually edit all these variables. So once you have your test case selected, it's possible then to bring it in to your test bed and run that test case. So, for example, here, the run and test case provides a number of, uh, number of metrics on what's going on in the VNS. Another nice uh, thing about the new 12.0 release from Caribbean is the pool manager. So, the pool manager provides us with a 
view on the resources that are available for use and where they're being used. So, giving you greater visibility on utilization of the test resources. Once the test resources are running, we can actually validate and create a, a thresholding or event notification based on violations. The user can look at the whole environment from a single pane of view. So for in this instance, we can look at the VNF under test and understand where issues may be occurring. So the CPU utilization, interface utilization right out to the disk or the resource that has been, the VNF has been deployed into. So again, enabling a user of Caribbean to quite quickly determine through the life cycle of a network server and a VNF what the performance is from the host infrastructure to the service level agreement or our layer 7 application traffic. Thanks for watching.